Good evening, Cohog. I'm Tom yes. Tucker. Can a woman really be mayor? Or... Hey, Stewie, uh, look, something came up. I'm not going to be able to do the picnic today. Oh, oh, was that, was that today? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no way I can make that either. I'm, I'm, I'm canceling too, man. <laughs> wow, good memory, though. I, I totally blanked on that. Stewie Griffin! My God, Bertram! But how is this possible? I, I killed you! You only killed me in this universe, you fool! Oh, so you got yourself a multiverse remote, huh? Indeed I did! Wait, ho hold on. Will someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? <sighs> Sorry, hang on one sec. You remember the multiverse theory? Yeah... It's the one about how there are alternate universes that coexist with ours on parallel dimensional planes. So, in each of these universes, the reality is different from our own. Sometimes only slightly, sometimes quite radically. This Bertram is from a universe where we never killed him! Okay, okay, I think I got it. Sorry, not a genius. Now what do you want? Well, I can't possibly allow a universe to exist without me in it! I'm traveling the multiverse, building up an army to exact my revenge on you. When I return, I'm going to destroy your universe completely! See you soon, Stewie! <laughs> Zion, this is bad. With a cross-dimensional army, he'll have no problem destroying our universe. Who knows what he's going to bring back here? Well, what are we supposed to do? We have to try and stop him before he can organize his attack. All right, Brian, we're going to need to arm ourselves. I'm sure he knows we're going to come after him. His armies are going to be waiting for us every step of the way. You think... you think maybe I can use one of your ray guns? No, I get Stewie weapons, you get the boring stuff. That's what we're doing. Fine. But how are we going to find him? He could be anywhere, right? Luckily, I just updated my multiverse remote, so I have tracking software now. We'll be able to follow every move he makes. Hang on, Bri. We're going back to the multiverse. <laughs> What the hell? Wait a minute, Brian, this isn't where we were supposed to go. What do you mean? I don't know, the remote's not working for some reason. You know, everyone said, get on the cloud, it's gonna be great. And everything's been a nightmare since. Well, can you fix it? I don't have the proper tools, but maybe we can find someone who does. All right, well, can you at least find out where we are? According to the multiverse remote, this is a universe ruled by Greeks. So, what does that mean? Fat, hairy philosophers in togas or fat, hairy greaseballs in speedos? Oh yeah, Greeks have always been gross and still are. But no, it's not those kinds of Greeks, Brian. It's worse. It's frat boys. Hey, those guys aren't like us. Get those knob gobblers. Crap, Brian, run! We have to find someone to help us fix my remote! What's a knob gobbler? You'll understand when you're older. Come on, Stewie, we gotta find someone who can fix the remote. This is Stewie country, and I intend to keep it that way! Hey, you two! Do you want a pledge to our fraternity? Here's a Torah and some bacon to rub on your face so you break out! This might sound a little odd, but do you know if there's like an electronic store or a creepy Armenian guy in a dimly lit apartment who can fix a multiverse remote? Oh, I can help you get that fixed, but I'll require a service in return that's worth more than the service I'll be providing you with. We need you to help our fraternity throw a better party. We've been standing around complaining for hours, but that doesn't seem to be a party to the Gentiles. Here's some ammo. Now go shoot those lame balloons down. Oh, wait until I put my earplugs in. <laughs> Thank you. 
best way if I Pinatas? Really? What are we, 12? Fire your guns I'm without ammo. I'm lightheaded. This party's late. I think there's someone throwing up over there just because they're nervous. What the hell did Stewie do to this place? Yachts. No wonder these guys can't get laid. Why this place sucks. All right, Pry, here's the deal. Only one of us fighting at a time. Think of it like tag team wrestling. When you get hurt or too tired, tag out. I'd like to help you, but uh, I've got to go out in the hall and chew on the back of my ass for about five minutes. Clearly you need my help. Luckily, none of the other boys want to hit me because... Okay, calm down, Hispanic people. We're all just oh, trying to relax like here. Good, you shot all the balloons. Now, oh look, there's a sorority girl running down the street. I bet her dad's so rich. Dude, wait until my bros see these nasty pictures of you. Hey, get back here with those. I was gonna wait one more year before I leaked naked pictures of me online. You should go talk to that sorority girl and see what's the matter. Also, ask her how much her dad has in his retirement fund. What's a clitoris? Brian, I don't like it here. All these Jewish kids sadden me. Pictures of me and my sorority sisters. I'll pretend to like whoever gets them back. Nice nips. Wow. Someone should buy her a razor. I'd say she's a low seven. Get those guys! They're with the nerds! This is my gun. How does it feel to buy your friends? Well, now I won't feel bad about crapping my pants. I'd bang that when I'm blacked out. You want the pictures? Come and get them. I already yanked it to them anyway. These two dorks just won't quit. Come on, let's just be bros. Hey, okay, bro. Why don't you burn in hell? Ah, dude, chill out. Dude, no! Totally ineffective. I think that boy in the pool is dead. No, Stewie, he's just swimming. You see, college is all about having fun. Nope, he's dead. No one's helping him. Find more of them so you have material to shamefully touch yourself to at night, or even very early in the morning. Now I got a keg, but didn't want to put the deposit down for the tap. Would you find one for me? Oh, I think that house over there has one. Let me know if you guys want to drink with me. I can always do your companion. Hey, it's those douchebags who stole the pictures of us. Give me drugs for free. Whoever kills those guys gets to do me.
Oh, I'm sorry. Have you ever been published? Bye bye, tramp. Yeah, of course I did it. Don't attack attempts to hinder my work. Weird. Like, like on one side of my face is like numb, the other side just like. Mm. Your uppums will come. Dude, after this semester, I'm gonna get my backpack and just go. Mm. I can teach you, but I have to <laughs> You're acting like a psycho bitch. Look at this place, it's anarchy. I guess this is what happens when douchebags become way too entitled. We gotta stop them. Yeah, now if I can just find a midget with some gin, I'll be in business. What are you guys from the nerd frat? Come on, sweetie, hurry up. More. Seven other girls are gonna die tonight. Dad, Mom's gonna be pissed if she finds out about this. Totally ineffective. I'd like to help you, but uh, I've gotta go out in the hall and chew on the back of my ass for about five minutes. There it is. That looks like the thing Mort wants. I don't know what a tap is. Ah, go! Chill out! I think you and I need Hey, to... come back here with our tap! I want Dude, some more. those guys are stealing our tap. Thanks for the tap. I'm blaming everything on you. Now, we need some women to come to this party. Ooh, I got a crafty idea. Listen, I need you to steal a couple of jackets from the jock frat. Bring them back here, and I'll tell you what to do next. <laughs> 